what is up everybody welcome back to another Dogon battle video today jesus oh my gosh well it actually said, oh my gotcha this is absolutely crazy so tata uh the tata bottom banner uh the tana bottom banner is actually coming out very soon to jp Dokon, and we already knew that like every year this always happens that like whenever the anniversary units come out they're gonna be coming out onto the uh ton about it banner and then also around that time the global version of the game of dokkan battle does have their anniversary so it's like kind of like a dual anniversary and things like kind of like mixed in they did a really cool collab last year with the goku uh the ints uh gt kid goku one you know the celebration thing that was really cool i don't know if they're gonna do anything this year but definitely there's a lot of hype going on right now with um lr lr super saiyan goku happening his easy a and now this okay so this is what it is so what this is is essentially um team doke honor jesus lord christ team doke honor thank you very much they have given us an update or like a little leak on what's going to be happening onto this uh celebration um what do you expect from the from Dokkan Bot? as usual the celebration will will probably be around july 1st to july 31st and there will be a key opportunity for 77 dragon stones so yes we're gonna be having a lot of dragon stones uh, not a lot but you know 77 it's a good amount you at least get to have, if you do all the things probably in the events you'll be able to get at least one free multi which is really nice now a lot of this is leading up to something <laughs> And what that is, is that we are apparently getting a duel. We're not getting a duel, but like we're getting a combo card of Royal uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta with Kaioken Blue Goku. It's an LR too. So it's just like, holy shit. <laughs> this is big news for Dokkan Battle because we have not really seen well they released a dokkan fest uh kaioken blue goku before but they didn't really release a separate um unit that's just evolution blue vegeta they they really did not re release a separate unit like that and at most they have the blue vegeta who who has an act who doesn't have that who transforms into the evolution blue this is actually cool that it's it's not it's not it's not gonna be standalone but like it's gonna be both of them supposedly into one unit card that's hype and it's gonna be an lr uh i'm gonna say this right now i was i literally just got my paycheck i was going to summon more for lr ui goku i'm gonna say fuck that i'm not the strong the stones i have right now and the, my money that's going for here man we have look july 1st is not even that off we're on the 27th of today today is the 27th july 1st starts wednesday now obviously um for me for dokkan battle around this time I don't usually summon because I usually like uh, the la I did summon last year if you guys saw that when I first met truth and then I got the truth luck this shit I don't summon because around th this time anime expo is happening so I'm like no I'm not going to summon even though it's super hype I'm not gonna summon pandemic happened we're we're in a you know there's no anime expo I'm perfectly fine going all out that I usually do with I what money I use for anime expo to do this you're gonna see me go a little bit fucking crazy <laughs> if this unit is hyped as it is holy shit like this is the fact that like this unit even if it's going to exist it's going to be the hypest thing in jo dokkan battle now global players are going about to get vegeta blue and gogeta blue as the lr celebration should you skip it no do not skip those banners i'm going to repeat that do not global players skip those banners those two units are really and i can't stress this enough they are really good yes this unit right here is going to be absolutely bonkers <clears throat> but i'm going to say this right now the, the this unit right here he's probably going to be coming out at the end of this year closer maybe to thanksgiving who knows for your anniversary well, not the anniversary but you know it, there's usually like a few months apart between global and jp 
even though global has been catching up recently who knows what's gonna happen but this is i can certainly definitely see this as the ending banner of the year for global this ba this banger right here so after you pull gogeta or vegeta i recommend vegeto first vegeto's definitely the better unit Whoever you pull and you think you're satisfied enough, save your stones. Just save it. Do not go into any other banner. If this thing could be as hype as it is going to be, this might be the, the single best unit in the game. Depending on what they do here. You have two blue cards into one. You're not going to say they're going to not make this busted. Oh, you are fucking wrong. This is going to be absolutely busted this card not only because it's two units these two units are on their own different categories i'm gonna pull them up right now they're gonna be in a lot of different categories and who knows the leader skills where they're gonna be this i, I could already imagine maybe full power and maybe uh, it's a combo card maybe we can finally have another joint forces unit that's not the lr killing khalifa we can have finally have a dokkan fest that's an lr that's join forces and it could be a higher a higher uh, leader skill than lr Kelly khalifa this is the moment for that like these two are at their full power i mean granted goku could go ui but he doesn't actually like he doesn't like actually like know and he can't even tap into that this is the highest form of goku that he could control and he could put whip out on the fly instead of ui goku this shit i'm telling you it's the biggest thing you're ever going to want to summon i'm hyping this up way too much but i am super hyped the fact that we're getting terminal power powered units again and the fact that like is these two units facing off it's gonna be them facing off jiren who knows the at the end of within this this whole celebration they're gonna be a there's gonna be an lr banner like a legendary's banner with full power Jiren. Who fucking knows? They are whipping out this card for a good reason. I, I'm telling y'all, I'm serious. Not only that, we also have um, 2,000 days happening into Doka Battle. Now my J, my global count's about to hit 2,000. Mm, it's a it's about like a hundred and five days left on my global count and in like on my JP. Oh, I want to say it's like it's it's close to the eight hundreds. So uh, yeah, like I'm not I'm not that close to getting two thousand days, but at least I'm close to the one thousand day Goku, which I'm really hyped. I can't wait to get. But at the same time. The fact that, like, okay, we're gonna pull this up because this is huge. Okay, I have this up, but this is gonna be some really, and I really can't stress this enough. This is gonna be some really hype. The fact that, like, <sighs> like this guy's easy. Yeah, it's about to, um, actually, let's actually go to, uh, DBZ space. <laughs> All right, so here it is. This is the news for DBZ space. And the fact that, like, this is gonna be, like, the trophy card that you wanna do. For the LR, like, you know, for the 2000 day, I, I feel like it could be something more, but this is like the big one. The original LR getting his easy A. <clears throat> and I'm so glad this is going to be the third unit in the game that's going to be getting his easy A. Obviously, the first one is the Zamasu Goku card. The second one was the Kid, the Kid Gohan for the original Super Battle Road stages, the rewards for it. And the original LR is now finally getting his easy A. This guy, when he was first released, he was the talk. He was the big talk of, of everything. This was like the beginning of LRs. The fact that like, and he was busted back then. Can you imagine what they could do to this LR to make him more relevant in this day and age? The original LR, the original LR. Can you imagine that? And then I know, I know, I know. People are pissed off. They like you have to rainbow all of these, all these units right here, all these units that had the extreme Z area. Listen, I get it. It's 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 gonna be annoying in a challenge, <clears throat> but um, if you do them when the events are actually active, you put the orbs into them. You do the grind. This 
this is going to be worth it. This is going to be all worth it. Like, even with this guy, this guy's getting his easy... He, you're getting... Global player, you're getting his easy A. This is the first step of everything here. This, like, I... No, actually, this was the guy who was the first step because he he's he's been out for a while, his easy A. But this... This LR, I'm telling you, this is this is the big boy. This is the big boy. Everything here, this is all leading up to this event. And don't get me wrong, I don't even have cooler. I don't have cooler rainbow. Everything here is rainbow except cooler. I only have one duping cooler. I'm literally grinding the game right now for incredible gems. And I'm about to get the second copy. And it could take me about like a day and a half. Because I'm just grinding super hard. Now, obviously, if you have things to do, you can't grind that hard. I'm telling this right now. This is essentially the reason why they're making it so hard is because probably this this guy is going to be the best free to play unit ever in the game because they're making it so hard. Just like how they originally released him with the with the strike battle, you have to use a strike uh, the strike battle units, and that shit was hard. Now it's a, now it's a joke, but I'm telling you, this is this is like the thing this is what it's all leading up to if they're gonna make it this hard because you have to grind out and rainbow everything use your own orbs and stuff just to do this this is this is the big boy this is definitely the big boy um but yeah like it, it, all of this is absolutely ridiculously crazy that they're all leading up to this and not to mention we have one more thing to talk about um, Z T U R, basically the extreme Z, uh, extreme uh, uh, Z awakening for the T, for basically the Neo God tier. The Neo God tiers are the original 120% leader skills. We're finally gonna get, be getting into that. Who do I think is gonna be getting that? I don't know. Um, anybody who definitely has full power. Uh, let me go into here. You should have full power, I believe. You no full power fierce fierce battle. Uh let me see here. We have la 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 la. We have Android 13. Not Android 13. My bad. Super 17. What is Android 13? I'm so stupid. <laughs> and then we also have let's see here. I don't really remember all the oh yeah, it was the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And then we were Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And then there was yeah, there's yeah, there's the Broly, there's, you know, all the original 120% lead, like, the, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, like, holy shit, like, yeah, Kid Boo. yeah, it's gonna be, whoever's gonna be part of that list is gonna be Awakening, it's gonna be massive, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, like, it's gonna be fucking massive, this whole thing, Janemba, Janemba gets his easy A, this one, the int, the int's gonna be outdated. This is gonna be one of the best units in the game. I'm telling you this right now. This guy's gonna be the best unit in the game. STR Janimba. Holy shit, it's gonna be the best unit in the game. Don't even play me. Don't, don't, you, you wanna add me about that? Hey, add me about that because I know he's gonna be the best unit in the game. Cooler? Huh, you kidding me? He's still relevant. They're gonna make him even more busted. <laughs> They're gonna even increase his stats. You kidding me? By the way, um, um, LR Easy Ace do not increase stats. Just letting you know, it's just the passive and the leader skills. They do not, and also their super attack. But other than that, uh, stats stay the same. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough one. I have no idea. I want it to be Broly. I really want it to be Broly <laughs> because Broly. <laughs> <laughs> Defense minus ten percent per key spear. You're fucking kidding me. This guy needs an easier to fix that shit. This thing needs to be removed. That 10% needs to be removed. And after that, he's one of the best units in the game. He, he, he's by far one of the best units in the game if they remove that. You, you Don't play me. Don't play me. Who knows? This could be like a full power easy A. Like, you know how they're going to get like dual typing? He's going to probably be like maybe 130%. Plus, he's going to be like maybe full power. I can see this is is he is he not full power? No, he's not in full power. Hmm. Maybe he could be a Super Saiyan 3 or Pure Saiyan. I wouldn't mind him being Pure Saiyans. I would not mind this. Who knows? Who knows what they're gonna do to him? Either one of these two, he's gonna be a leader skill for these. He's either gonna be Super Saiyan 3 or Pure Saiyans. I say Pure Saiyans, but I can see them doing uh Super Saiyan 3. But yeah, like it's gonna be a massive, massive celebration for both JP and Global. Like, we're all getting this. 
uh, we're getting this right now, these uh, JP players, and I'm a, luckily I'm a JP player, so I'm super fucking hyped right now. And then, like, global players are definitely gonna have to wait, but I do recommend, and I can't stress this super, super enough, please, and I, I really mean it, do not skip these two LRs, the, the last resort units, do not skip them, please. They are godly. And I do recommend going for uh for Vegito first because not because I'm a Vegeta fan. I'm not a Vegeta fan. He's just the better unit, just by far. He's the better unit who does multiple super attacks. Gogeta's good, but uh compared to him, no, no, no. Vegito, Vegito wins it. Vegito definitely wins it in terms of his passive. But other than that, Jesus, I, I'm super hyped. I'm really excited for this. Like, I really want this to um to blow the sh my fucking mind because uh even though like recently dokkan has been fucking over like link not even links um categories recently <sighs> i do 100 percent believe well actually let's got you stretch that down to 90 percent if they learned anything hopefully they learn anything whatever category these two are gonna be in it's going to be because it's dual category, they're going to add a new category, plus they're going to add him to something else. Whether that be full power, or rather that would be, um, uh, combinations. I can see them do combinations because it's the two of them. They're, they're that high. So, who knows what they're going to do. That's, that's my prediction. But other than that, what do you guys think about the celebration? JP players, are you guys hyped? Global players, please summon. <laughs> <laughs> do not save your stones please summon i get it these these two are fucking hype but then you're gonna be like oh crap there's even better units of them no shit they're gonna keep advancing to getting better units just summon on the anniversary and the saber stones for this do not skip <laughs> other than that thank you guys for watching I hope you have yourself a goddamn good one i'll see you guys next time um i'm gonna be changing my schedule a little bit for uh video recordings because uh yeah full time a uh, full time is a uh, full time work is a lot and uh Oh, it's been getting me tired, but like, goddamn, I'm gonna fix my schedule uh, very, very soon so I can do uploads a little bit more frequently and also uh, give you guys more live streams, more content over on this channel, whether it be Dokkan or anything video game related. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you have yourself a goddamn good one. Take care.